Welcome to episode 22. Today I work on the Hall Parts Factory, and we get to see a lot more about what the game's really about, rather than just missions, which is kind of something I've been waiting to do for a long time. Really happy to show you this side of the game. Let's get started. And there she is. Look at that. My first station. Eight kilometers tall. Docking granted. Successfully docked. Hello. Hi. Can I help? The whole purpose of this station is to make hull parts. It's just about ready to go online. What I'm going to do in the meantime is set some money up with it. I've got to get methane coming in and I've got to get ore coming in. I can mine the ore myself, but I can't mine the methane yet until I open up boron space. I'm just going to set them to automatic for now because I don't know how much I'm going to need or how much space it's going to take. But it wants 4 million credits, so I'll, I'll just put 4 million credits into the account. And then I'm going to assign miner, this miner. What are you doing? All right, looks like this, this miner is selling. And that's going to wrap up the local auto mine behavior here. And I'm going to change it to mining ore in 
Heretic's End instead. Looks like I caught it just in time. I need to set up two blacklists. Well, this is a really confusing interface, so pay really close attention to what I'm doing here. If you want your ship to only sell what it mines to your station, and you want the station to only accept ore from your miners instead of buying it from NPCs, you have to do two things. First, you go into Global Orders, and you need to set up a new trade rule and a new blacklist, because you'll be using both of them. The trade rule is going to be my ships only. And that's going to say restrict all factions. And it'll put your player name there because it will allow it to trade with your ships, but not other factions ships. Save trade build. Then you go to the blacklists and say create a new blacklist and say my stations only. And this is going to be a trade restriction where you restrict all factions again and it puts your player name there again and this will only allow your ships to trade with your stations. Save blacklist then you go to the ship in question and you see that he's got nothing in his hold and he's got no orders pending and you're going to give him individual instructions, blacklists, trade restrictions, uncheck global setting and then choose my stations only. Then go to your station, logical overview, or and then you have a buy offer for or trade rule, uncheck use station setting, and then choose my ships only. And that will make sure that they do business with each other and nobody else. It dedicates the ship to the station. That is the hard way of doing it. There is an easier way to do it, but it's a little bit more limited. I shouldn't say it's limited, it's just, it does different behaviors. I'll just show you. So if you choose your ship, Real Vanguard, right click on the hull part factory, and then you say mine for commander alpha. That also assigns the ship to only mine for that station. So at whatever that station needs, that ship will go and mine for it and bring it back. The difference is that that ship will only mine for that particular station. It won't mine for any of your other stations in this sector. <clears throat> Whereas the way I've set it up before, the more difficult way, it will mine and sell to any of your stations in that sector, which is, I think, more flexible because what if you have, you know, 10 stations? You can have 10 stations and, and, and five ships and they're all running around mining and they're selling just to your stations in that sector. And that could be the way you want to do it, or you might want to do it this way. It's, a, it's really your choice. Now, I'm going to need to set up resource probes. And I can do that right now with this ship, resource survey unit. <coughs> There's the ore. Now all this miner has to do is get here without getting killed. That takes care of ore and methane will be bought on the local market. Here comes an argon gas miner to sell 1700 units of methane to my station. That's my first customer, VBX020. Argon food trader, check this out. Um, I wonder if he's coming to the station. Food Trader Callisto Vanguard. Food rations. Here it is. Yep. Let's check it out. 
This is where the game starts to get kind of exciting because you're building an actual functional empire that does things, makes things, and rather than just running around in a single ship doing missions. Docking granted. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There he is. So this ship over here Docking aborted. just arrived with food for the people who work on this station. You drop the food off and away he goes. It's extremely satisfying to see this kind of thing coming and going and just doing business with what you built. That That's just something really cool about that. Meanwhile, my Odysseus is sitting down there guarding the station because we do have Xenon in this area and we don't want the station getting attacked. Here you can see food rations is currently at 369 <coughs> units, um, taking up 16,000 cubic meters of my container storage. And there is another food trader that's coming in about a minute to deliver even more. Yeah, okay, so that's that's a different ship than I thought. BJM 836 might be this one. I hear ships. Argon gas miner. Ooh. Okay, check this out now. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. That's the gas miner requesting permission to dock. And and this gas miner, she's bringing methane. You can see the big tanks on this ship. That's a gas miner. Whoops. M. Cover activated. Yaki. And there's an M. I really shouldn't be in this ship. When the Xenon are near my station. Now everybody thinks I'm a Yaki, including the Xenon and my own station, I think. Docking oh. granted. Docking aborted. Somebody's shooting at it. Ooh, ooh. Docking granted. Who's shooting at me? Building drone. So the gas miners dropped off the methane and is leaving. Yeah. Yeah, that. I wish that Xenon would go away. It looks like it's the builder itself that's firing on the Xenon. Docking aborted. That's interesting. Ooh, I hear big guns. What is that? Oh, that's my... Yeah, that's my Odysseus. Well, hopefully it'll kill the M. Somebody's got de defense drones out. Ooh, not doing so well. Here, I might, I'm, I'm just shooting at this M. Cover detected. 
deactivated. Now you can see that I do have some methane and I have some energy cells which I'm generating on my own and I don't have any ore yet so let's check out the situation with my miner. I don't know where he went. Looks like my miner is hanging out over here. There he is. The drill's assignment is to uh, mine ore in this sector and sell to my stations. According to this, he's already got 5,400 cubic meters of ore. Here we go. Just helping. <laughs> I don't know if the miner will see those or what. Oh, he's full. All right. Well, in that case, we're about to get ore in the hull part factory for the first time. Man, that's a nice looking station, isn't it? Meanwhile, my miner is right here getting ready to dock and drop off all that ore. Here we go. Miner is done. So the miner is going to go off and get some more ore and just repeat that. Meanwhile, we have ore, but yeah, here's the trade restrictions, which is exactly how it should be. Aha! Now look over here in the production column, we have graphene and refined metals that are both operating right now. I wonder if the graphene I know the graphene is being made in this module. Docking aborted. I don't hear anything. I know some of the modules you can hear them operate from your ship. This is the refined metals. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Refined metals needs ore and energy cells. In this particular case, it needs. Um, We're taking hits. I'm busy. Real, really.
this might be a problem if if the xenon just keep coming through this gate and then the the miner keeps mining in the area around this gate then it's going to get attacked by xenon all the time how can i handle that Wait. cover deactivated He's down to 54% hull. That's not good. Yeah, this is this is not good. And I've called in the katana to help. I'm going to give the katana orders to... Um, this is another mod that I've installed that I haven't used before. And it's going to be default behavior. Reaction force, uh, home heretics and dock, hold, defend, patrol. Is this meant to be like a switch where patrol is the fourth one, so choose four? Assign is home base. I don't know what this means. Response range, allowed threat level, respond to ships, HP response point. I honestly don't know what these mean, but let's check the defaults and see how it works. This should make the katana member of the reaction force in the heretic's end that will protect my assets that are under attack in this sector, which is exactly what I want. Wow. This guy's almost dead. You need to go repair, buddy. All right, back to this. You can see that it... Refined metals has stopped working because it doesn't have any ore. And the ore is coming pretty soon. We're starting to build up some traffic now. Here's the gas miner again. And this over here is another gas miner. So it looks like methane might actually take care of itself without me mining it. Although I will, I will mine it eventually just to save money. What's this one? Intermediates trader. Yeah, things are coming. Let's take a peek. Okay, energy cells I make my own. Um, methane is coming in. We got plenty of methane. We got ore. Refined metals are working again because it uses energy cells. It uses, this is what I was saying before. Okay, so it makes 6,400 per hour and it uses 6,400 per hour energy cells, 17,000 per hour ore. This is useful. This shows how long until resources are depleted, current resources that are in the hold. This means four minutes, which means as long as my, my ore miner comes back in the next four minutes, it won't interrupt the refined metals. This tells me that it probably needs another miner in the area uh, to keep that flowing. I'll probably buy another miner real soon for that. Graphene has plenty. It says over an hour until. I was asked to drop my cargo. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to explain something. And I have just a moment, please, without a pirate interrupting what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you'll be fine. Minotaur Raider, though. I mean, they are quick. Oh, he's turning around. Get out of there. All right, you'll be fine. What was I saying?
Raphine has enough resources already to go solid for another hour. None of these none of these use very many energy cells, which is why I only had to put one energy cell uh, producer on this station. Now, what that also means is that I'm making 3,000 per hour. Hmm. Consumption 4640. Is that, is that right? Well, I'll keep an eye on it. Workforce is another important aspect of station production because when you have workforce, it's the more workers you have on your station, the faster you're going to produce. Current workers, ah, yeah. okay, 288, capacity 2000. Optimal number of workers, 1980. Here I'm out of ore again. Definitely going to need another miner as soon as possible. Cover activated, Yaki. Let's see if this w does its job. There's an N. There's a katana. deactivated <laughs> all right so the katana did its job yes I was buying a miner 718,000 add to shopping list firm order okay all right now I've got the Plutus done and neat trick right click on home miner and just say mimic commander's behavior and it should do the exact same thing. It should go to Heretic's End and start mining for the station. Now, back to this. Notice that I've got hull parts in production. Yes, time until resources depleted seven minutes. If I scroll over to the right, you can see hull parts in storage. And I currently have none, but in any moment now, in about 10 seconds, now we have 298 hull parts, which is, I can't say how much that's going to be awesome because having hull parts of my own that I'm producing, instead of having to go to Avarice every time I want to build something, Will be fantastic. This container can hold quite a lot, apparently. Something just blew up. We still need to work on finding that relay station. Terrans no, are not don't. known for their endless patience. Don't care. Cover activated. Yaki. Wow, the Plutus is already here. That was quick. All right, here's a here's an M. We'll see what the katana does. M is on its way. You gonna do something? Wow. Oh, wow. That was a really silly thing to do. Ooh. Oh. Cover deactivated. Murdered. Just slaughtered. I love it. The Plutus is over here. Let's go take a look at that. These asteroids 
I want the Plutus to collect drops. We'll see what happens. And I don't know if it automatically would do that anyways, or if me telling it to collect drops actually helps. But you can see, you can see him working. He should come over here and pick these up. There we go. Scoop that one up. And oh, <laughs> I probably should demonstrate something cool that I can do now that I just really haven't taken advantage of yet. Teleport. Awaiting orders. Okay. Autopilot disengaged. Oh, I'm flying the miner. Asteroid. <laughs> yeah, I can collect these just like any drop. Asteroid. Oh, hold is full. <laughs> Never mind. Mountains. Back to the Maria. Maria. Damage is getting serious. What? Come on, Katana, where are you? There's so many Xenons. Deactivated. Awaiting orders. starting to think I might need quite a few small fast ships with good armament to run patrols in this area. Requesting permission to dock. Docking permission granted. That would be the Plutus. Oh man, look at them all. Look at them all. What is going on? Other problems. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's not good. Where are you going? Where? How? How did you get? There's so many Xenon right on the loop. That's not a good idea. Oh, this is... This is not going well. And I can't blacklist Head Ticket as Choice 1 because that's the only way to get to my HQ. You should have just gone for the highway. You should never have gotten off the highway. This freighter is so dead. That V is going to take it out. And my trader, he doesn't stand a chance if he doesn't get out of there quick. We were hit. Oh, man. Well, there goes one of my traders. The Xenon are really busy. Really aggressive. Cover deactivated. Not good.
P. Hmm. All right, there's so much heat all of a sudden. It's like I finally get some military in the area, and the Xenon just crank up the heat. I need to get that P dead as soon as possible. Where's the katana? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Holy shit, no, I am not accepting that I'm reloading. This is getting out of hand. It really is. Why are there so many Xenon pouring through this gate? This is not a Xenon sector. Who knows what the situation was? All right, so this is from before. So I have the katana here. What's his orders? The order is reaction force. Okay. I don't have the second miner, so I got to reorder that. I need to check something with this gate. Is the gate itself? I mean, this should be a split sector. Did the split die? Entering system. Wretched skies. Okay, so here's Wretched Skies. Well, why, why are the Xenon coming through here? Why don't they just pick on the split? There aren't any, it's not like there's a war going on in here. This is just very tranquil. But they're coming through this gate into my home sector Entering system. and causing Entering all kinds of trouble. End. What? Are you coming to cause trouble, Phoenix? Cover. Activated. Yaki. Now I'm nervous about letting this go without babysitting it. I think I need to get more ships. Cover activated. Yaki. Jump gate. M. Deactivated. We still need to work on finding that relay station. Terrans are not known for their endless patience. Cover activated. Yaki. Awaiting orders.
cover activated. Yaki. So it's not really at a clean stopping point for the episode, but you know, it just keeps going. And that was about as much as I had endurance for that day anyway. I do need to figure out what to do about the Xenon that keep pushing in. I'm thinking probably get some scouting done uh, in the Xenon areas and the northern sectors and maybe opening up boron space just enough to get some relief from the pressure. But this is exciting. This is a new phase of the game, you know, getting into station building and getting into maybe some better economy and trade and looking forward to see where this goes. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.